So the other day I saw this picture in a Facebook group called Production Nightmares, I believe, and it reminded me of one time I had a show and I brought my mini Marshall because I had just bought it. I was going to take it to a hotel later on and practice in the room with it. And my amp started acting weird, my actual amp that I used at the show. It's a tube amp and it started sounding a little bit crunchy. You start to hear a little bit of static. You get a little bit nervous. And I always thought about what Zach Wilde said. He's like, no matter what you do, I always bring a backup rig. And his words were kind of echoing in my brain. I was like, okay, I might regret not bringing a backup amp to this gig. And as we were playing the show, I remembered that I had that mini Marshall in my back seat of my car. And I thought if everything completely fell apart and my amp blew up, at least I could try to use that thing. And I thought we could mic it, we could put it through the monitors and maybe it'll get me through the rest of the night. So when I saw that picture, it reminded me that I always wanted to do an experiment and find out if it could have actually gotten me through the show. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to use my full rig, my half stack, which is an angle head through a Marshall 4x12 cabinet. And I'm just gonna play a Motley Crue riff uh, because we played that song that night and so we can actually hear how it would have sounded with a full band. So before I AB the two amps, I just wanna show you what they sound like without the band. So this would be the half stack, my full rig that I typically use. <laughs> And now let's try it through the mini Marshall and let's just see the difference before we play with the full band. And keep in mind, this is just a practice amp. It's not supposed to be used live, but like I said, it was an emergency at the time. <laughs> Now let's actually put it into context, but let's start off with the big rig so that we can compare that way. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was a fun experiment. Uh, as you can see, it's not ideal at all. You would not want to use that as an amp as your first choice, but if worse came to worse and that's all you had, it could literally get you through the rest of the show, surprisingly. Now that should give you hope. If you ever feel like you don't want to bring a big rig as a backup, like if I brought two half stacks, that'd be way too much for me. But if I want to bring a smaller amp, not quite this small, but something kind of in between. I used to use a PV Bandit quite a bit as a backup amp and it's a solid state amp, very reliable. You could throw a PV down the stairs, I swear it would still work. Okay, everyone, that was just a fun thing for me to try. Hopefully it was fun to watch and we'll catch you at the next video. Okay, bye.